Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor Nelson Grimmett of Great Plains Apostolic Church. Today I want to talk to you about discipleship. And so we're going to go to the Word of God, and we're going to look and see what the Scripture has to say. And we're going to do a quick 10-minute Bible study that I believe will challenge you, will encourage you, and provide clarity of God's will and calling upon your life. Luke chapter 9 and verse number 23, Jesus was speaking here, and he makes this statement. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now there's several things we can draw from that single statement that Jesus made, but uh, let it suffice to say Jesus makes a call for us to deny ourselves. We have to get to a place where we say, Not my will, but thy will be done, Lord. It's not what I want, it's what God wants. It's not what makes me feel good, it's not what makes me happy, or what brings me pleasure, but it's what pleases the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to get to that point, or else we can never truly be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Christ. And then Jesus says, we have to take up our cross daily. He provides clarity on how often we need to apply basic Christian disciplines. He says, daily. Now, if I only pray once a week on Sunday mornings when I go to church, I will not be a very effective disciple of Jesus Christ. I will be spiritually weak. I will not uh, be as close to God as I would like to be or as I need to be. And God will really have a hard time anointing me and using me for His will and purpose because there will be so much carnality and self-will in my life because of a lack of prayer. So Jesus was telling us here that we have to apply Christian disciplines on a daily basis. Now, in our world that is usually so busy, uh, people have a variety of reasons why they say, I don't have time to pray. I don't have time to read the Bible. I don't have time to study the Word of God and reflect on the Scriptures. I don't have time to set aside and to slow down and hear from the Lord. But during this time of social distancing due to, due to COVID-19, I think that most of us, if we were to be honest with ourselves, would have to say we have plenty of time on our hands to seek the face of God. So if we are going to follow Jesus, if we are going to be a Christian disciple, we have to learn how to deny ourselves and how to apply Christian disciplines, biblical Christian disciplines, consistently, faithfully, on a daily basis. I want to share a short illustration for you that ties in with this scripture, and then we will finish off with another verse of scripture to wrap all of this up. There's a special plant called a Chinese bamboo tree. I recently learned of this plant, and I had to do some research on it to see for myself if what I was hearing was true. I was amazed at what I learned, and I want to share some of that information with you right now. The Chinese bamboo holds the Guinness World Record as the fastest growing plant ever recorded. It grows at a rate of a little over one and a half inches per hour and grows almost four feet every single day. Literally, they say if you sit there long enough and stare at a Chinese bamboo tree, you can watch it grow right before your eyes. A Chinese bamboo is very strong. The bamboo tree is one of the hardest materials in the world, despite of how it looks, in such that it has the strength greater than steel. Additionally, it can be, it can endure being way better than normal concrete and making it a really strong material. These attributes enable the tree to be used as a bicycle frame. Isn't that interesting? 
because of its unbelievable strength as well as being relatively light. This plant needs constant watering and fertilizing because for the first five years of its life, it doesn't grow a single inch. Five years of constant watering and fertilizing and the Chinese bamboo does not grow a single inch. Five years. Think of that. That's a long time. That's a lot of time investing in something that you're not seeing immediate growth. During that time, it does not grow. And then one day, it finally begins to sprout. And in that single day that it begins to sprout, it will grow an incredible four feet. If you sit and watch it, as I said a moment ago, you can actually watch this tree grow. After six weeks, this plant will soar to a height of 90 feet tall. So for five years, no growth. In a single day, four feet. And after just six weeks, 90 feet. Now, note that during the first five years, it seems like nothing is happening. But that's not true. Something is happening. It's just the visual results that we are wanting to see have not been made manifest and they're not appearing in the way that we want them to just yet. But watering and fertilizing, tending to the essentials of growth are vital, they're critical, and without them, the plant will never grow in the first place. If someone plants a Chinese bamboo and they only water it once or twice a week, the, the, the plant will die in the ground as a root, it will never grow. It applies, it requires constant watering and constant fertilizing in order for this tree to uh, produce and to grow and to accomplish its true potential. That's a lot like our effort in becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ. Sometimes it takes a lot of work, a lot of time invested on the front end before we ever start to see any real growth any real maturity, uh, bearing the fruit of the Spirit, sometimes it seems like we're just spinning our wheels. But let me tell you something. Unless you learn the value of taking up your cross daily, investing in spiritual disciplines, that means praying, reading and studying your Bible, worshiping God, being faithful to go to the house of God on a regular basis, um, being faithful to give of your time, your talents, and your finances. Uh, the Bible teaches the concept that God loves a cheerful giver. Giving in the offering to support your local church, paying your tithes, uh, those are all essential uh, to your spiritual well-being and growth. Supporting your local church, supporting your pastor, supporting you know, your local place of worship with your finances, your time, your talents is part of the process. So when you discipline yourself to do these things and you remain consistent and you remain faithful in doing those on a daily basis, after a little while, all of a sudden, it seems like you are catapulted light years forward because one day, all of your effort, all of your tears, all of your, all of your heartfelt cries, all of your fasting, all of your seeking the face of God, all of a sudden you find yourself in a place where you are uh, in the favor of the Almighty God and He begins to anoint you and He begins to use you in capacities that you never dreamed possible. God's got a plan for your life. He has a will for your life. He has a purpose for your life, but you will never get there. You will never achieve the will of God in your life without spiritual discipline. God does not allow shortcuts when it comes to this. God is not just going to impute these things to us, meaning give us the, uh, the impact or the result of it without us putting forth any effort. God does not do that. We have to pray. We have to read the Word of God. We have to study the Word of God. We have to fast. We have to give. 
we have to be faithful, we have to be consistent, and we have to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily and follow Jesus Christ. All of this preparing will make you a vessel that God can anoint and God can use for his purpose for such a time as this. Galatians chapter 6 and verse number 9, as we close, says, Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. God wants to anoint you. God wants to use you. God wants to bless you. And he's waiting on you to pick up your cross on a daily basis and say, Lord, I commit my time to you. I commit my finances to you. I commit my talents to you. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. I challenge you. Start seeking the Lord in prayer more than ever before. Open the word of God and see what the Bible has to say. God has a word for you. Amen. Start fasting regularly. Start becoming an active praiser and worshiper of God. Amen. And be consistent about it. And watch what God will do in your life.